Hi guys, I'm so excited to come your way again with another video. Friends, Olympic is here. 2024 Olympics is here. Paris 2024 is here. Some events are already on as I'm talking to you, like rugby. And of course, you know, the Super Falcons. Tomorrow they are taking on Brazil in their opening game. So I'm here to talk about the Super Falcons as they take on Brazil tomorrow. Before then, let me quickly say thank you for coming. I appreciate the love and support. It's a channel to be, and so I welcome you. If you are here for the first time, please consider to subscribe to the channel. Press notification bell so that you don't miss out in my subsequent videos. And also help and share this video if it is possible for you to do. I will so much appreciate it. And to all my amazing subscribers, thank you for the love and the support. My friends out there, thank you very much. I appreciate it so much. It's a pleasure to have you. Guys, watch the video to the end. Give me a thumbs up and share it if it is possible for you to do. I will appreciate it greatly. Okay? Having said that, let's go straight into the gist. Super Falcons take on Brazil. Nigerians will look for an, an upset win when they open their Group C campaign at the Olympic Games with a clash against Brazil. The match is set to take place at State do Bordeaux on the evening of Thursday, the 25th of July, and the kickoff is 7 p.m. Nigeria will be making their fourth appearance in the Women's Olympic. Women's football tournament at the Olympics and returning for the first time since Beijing 2008. The Super Falcons' best showing was in 2004 when they reached the quarterfinals, while in 2000 and 2008 they were eliminated in the group stage. The West African heavyweights, who secured their place at Paris 2024 by defeating Ethiopia, Cameroon, and South Africa. In the qualifiers, we look to star players such as Tony Payne, Christy Uchebe, and Asisat Oshola for inspiration. Not to forget Ajibade, the captain, Rashidat Ajibade. Friends, Nigeria warm up for the tournament with a narrow 1 0 defeat at the hands of reigning Olympic champions Canada earlier this month with Jordan Utema scoring the only goal of the game. Brazil have appeared in every Olympic women football tournament and have twice claimed silver medals in 2004 and 2008 while at Tokyo 2020 they got as far as the corner finals before losing on penalties to eventual champions, Canada. The Brazil team is led by Arthur Elias and they boast an all time football great in Mata, the system world player of the year who comes into the tournament with 118 goals in 183 international matches. In head-to-head -head statistics, Nigeria and Brazil have met in two previous matches. The South American claimed a 3-1 victory in the group stage of the 2008 Olympics as well as a 4-3 win after extra time in the quarterfinals of the 1999 Women's World Cup. So, the stage is now set for the opener between superpower Brazil and the African Queen, the Super Falcons of Nigeria. It's going to be a very crunchy, very tough game. And of course, the same went to Elevan fight, the grass suffers. Well, it's going to be very, very tough. Or oh, and uh, whatever it is Nigeria girls are ready to face 
the Brazil, the Brazilian girls. Well, they prepared as much as they can. In the warm-up match, the only warm-up match they played, they lost narrowly to Canada, Canada, the reigning champion, Olympic champion, by a low goal. So, friends, what are your opinions? What do you think about Super Factors going into this encounter tomorrow? Do you think they have any chance of winning? Can you predict the outcome of tomorrow's match between Nigeria and Brazil? I'd like to know, guys. Let me know what you think about Super Falcons taking on Brazil in their opening Group C match tomorrow in the women event of the 2024 Olympics being hosted by France. Guys, thank you so much for your support and love. I appreciate it greatly. Okay? Thank you. Till I come your way next time with another video, I'd like to say to you guys, bye-bye for now.